In the early 1960s, NASA was hard at work on the launch escape system that would be used on Apollo. The first test of that system was the Apollo pad abort flight of November 7, 1963 at White Sands, New Mexico. The test involved using the escape system to launch the command module off the ground similar to what would be expected in an emergency off the launch pad. The test was a success, launching the command module to a height of 8,300 feet, ejecting the escape tower, and recovering successfully by parachute two-thirds of a mile downrange. Skip ahead now 40 years. Driving home from an NAR meeting one night, Gordy and I got to talking about a Cosrox pad abort model for sale on eBay. We wondered if it would be possible to enlarge the model and put the four motors on the tower where they belonged. That led to researching the original flight and drawings and reviewing the work of George Gassaway and Peter Alway. Next we crunched the numbers, looking at a variety of escape motor sizes. That led to drawings, first of the motor mount angles, and then the pieces required to hold them together. Then diagrams of how to support the capsule and tower. Next came diagrams for cutting the capsule cone and templates for cutting the tower support holes. Finally came the tower itself with scale drawings for cutting pieces and building assembly jigs. Building started with the styrofoam and fiberglass capsule bases. Foam was removed, we built the internal tower supports and epoxied them onto the capsule base. Next came the towers which had to be precisely aligned, lightweight and strong enough to hold the capsule which would be dragged behind like a parachute. On top of the towers sat the motor mount, which also had to be precisely aligned, very lightweight, and remarkably strong. The motor mount was encased in a coupler tube, over which a shroud was placed, and the escape motor tube and nose cone were placed atop that. Prior to building the final models, Gordy and I flew boiler plates on March 5, 2006. My model was 112th scale, BT-70 based and used 18mm motors, which turned out to be just barely enough power as you can see in the landing. Gordy's was 110th scale, BT-80 based and used 24mm motors, which gave it a much better boost and deploy. For our final models, Gordy converted his boilerplate to a finished version of the Pad Abort 2 flight, which flew in 1965. I reconfigured my BT-70 model to use 24mm motors and to represent the Pad Abort 1 flight of 1963. The Apollo escape system was a piece of true engineering genius which sat silently in the background, was never used, and is now rarely remembered. Gordy and I hope our models help honor those who created the original. All right, yeah.